The singing and dancing started long before the starter's pistol went off. And while the hardcore runners took off quick and ran fast, thousands more walked this route, arm in arm, smiles on their faces, knowing every step makes a difference. These racers were both young and old, with crazy hair, crazy shirts, and crazy, well, everything. And lots of folks were on hand to cheer them on. A woman finished the race first, but while she sprinted through the finish line, it was this set of ladies who walked slowly who may be even more important. They're the breast cancer survivors here to show off and speak out. Because 21 years ago, it was a silent disease. But now, the whole world is involved, and it means a lot. It felt like the whole world was in downtown Savannah, showing their support through the slogans on their shirts and the names of those lost or still fighting the disease on their backs. It gives me a warm and glowing feeling. I didn't know people cared as much. Caroline Keller is a six-year survivor who got to run this year with her daughter and son at her side. They are what kept me going. They are what got me through my chemo and my surgery because I have to.